welcome my lovelies how are you sorry about that um my laptop decided it wanted to do an update <laughs> just as i wanted to go live i went on it it was like we can't do anything more until you've done an update i was like ah no come on and it always goes so slow doesn't it it's always a pain <laughs> uh happy happy wednesday hope you're all okay um i hope everyone's feeling well um uh, we're doing block of the week today um what have we been up to nothing major today busy busy um sorting out subscription boxes and what else have we been doing uh trying to get all the stuff ready for her chanda next week because i'm back up on the 5th of july i've got a craft extra at 2 p.m and then um main show then at 5 p.m next thursday the 5th it's about right i think uh we've had suitcases delivered today as well which is really good because it's nearly time for my holiday which i'm very excited about um so yeah, I um, don't think there's anything else to tell you. Let's just have a quick hello to everybody before we get going. Um, hi Kate, hi Sheila, hi Jane, uh, hi Claire, hi Carolyn, hello my darlings. Um, we have, I have got a little man here today, Josh is on uh, Jonah Daycare and um, so hey Dougie is playing in the background so sorry if it's a bit noisy but he's having his lunch and he's quiet at the moment so you know, got to keep him good. You keep him happy <laughs> right let's get this little block down so um some of you might have seen some of the fabrics i showed you yesterday that we've had new into the shop the dragonfly dance ones um which had those beautiful water lilies and stuff um so i was playing it around uh, with a block last night um and i was like oh i don't know what i want to do i don't know what i want to make etc etc um and i thought well, actually let's have a little go at a, sort of a water lily type block um so came up with this little one which is more like a water lily bud in fact i've called it a water lily bud because um it didn't quite work as a water lily but it's a really pretty flower so um i've written the pattern up i've popped it onto the website as a digital download um for two pound as usual um and i've called it water lily bud block and then, but i put two sizes on there so a 12 and a half inch block but I've also written up as a six and a half inch so that you could put four together to make a 12 and a half, which might be, I think, quite pretty as well. So let's go over to the overhead. Um, who's there? Uh, hi, Leslie. Hello, my darlings. Let's just have a little look who else is there. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Carol. Lovely, lovely. Hi, everybody. Uh, cool earrings. Ah, oh, thanks, Carolyn. Uh, <laughs> I freaked uh, freaked Meg out, Sarah's daughter, out earlier because I saw her. She sorted a nail out. I chipped it. And she was like, What's good? She was like really staring at me. She couldn't work out this one here because she thought I'd had this pierced because it was kind of sat against. She was like, have you had your jaw pierced? I was like, no, it's just hanging off the back. <laughs> but I did freak her out for a few seconds, made her think. <laughs> so um, little man's been here and I think everything's moved a bit. So I'm hoping I'm in the right place. I'm guessing. Uh, so this is what I'm calling a water lily bird block. Um, so the idea is, you know, when water lilies, before they completely open out like that, and I might, I'm going to carry on playing around with an open water lily as well, actually. This would be like the little bud one, you know, when they're just sticking out of the water and you've got those lovely little buds. Um, so I thought we'd have a play around with this. Like I said, I have written a pattern up um, and I'll give you the, I'll give you the sizes to the 12 and a half. But I've also um, done, and you can see this on my notes last night, making, making sure if the block worked or not. Um, but I've also on the pattern done a six and a half inch block as well for you. So... For a 12 and a half inch block out of your background fabric, you will need, what we do need, you will need two five and a half inch squares, three four and a half inch squares, oh, not that one, one two and a half inch square, and one two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle. So that's your background fabrics. And then from your fabric one, which is your petals, basically, the pet petally bit. Now, I'm using scraps, so I'm using this really lovely bit of um, purple colour this time. It's a grunge that was in, my, in the box, so I thought I'd use this this time so you can see the flower in a different colour. Um, you've got need a five and a half and a four and a half. And then you want a little two and a half inch square for, like, the actual bud bit, the tip of the bud. And then you want a five and a half inch for your leaf, Okay. So, uh, hi Grace, hi Marion, hi Patricia. Is it really wet there, lovely? Oh, it's it's cloudy here today, but it's not wet, touch wood, so far, which would be nice. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by making this little top piece here, okay? That little bit there. So, we're going to need that one, which is the little bud piece, the two and a half. The two and a half background 
and the two and a half by four and a half. And we're going to stitch these two together and then we're going to add that one on top. Okay, now I've used a blue as my background. It's a linen texture and it's the, the very, very pale blue because I just was going with like a watery theme. But it doesn't have to. These, they could be like rosebuds. They would be rosebuds, wouldn't they? If you maybe did them in reds and pinks with a, you know, a, a you know, white or cream background or something. It was just, just a sort of a, a generic bird, but it all came from that water lily fabric yesterday. You absolutely love the dragonfly dance. You've made a pineapple surprise quilt with the jelly. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really stunning fabrics. And we had managed to get like the last bolts out of the warehouse of a lot of them. So I'm going to put these right sides together. You want to make sure that the bird is on the right hand side as well, okay? So I'm going to put these right sides together, stitch down, and then we're going to pop that one on. So, but yeah, it's, we were, um, hi Natalie. Um, hi Melba as well. Hello everybody. Um, yeah, the, we were very lucky actually that we managed to get that, um, hopefully this is in the right place and I think it's got knocked, that last little bit, um, because it is discontinued now. Once it, once it's gone, it's gone to quote to Crate and Craft. Um, so it is, we are very, we were lucky to get as much as we could actually, as many of them as we could. So they won't last long either, not at that price. So just stick down quarter of an inch and I'm going to press towards the darker fabric so for me actually that is the the yellow is slightly darker so i'm just going to very quickly press that i managed to get my little iron back as well from hachanda they found it so i was just like yay so i brought that home with me this time and then this one is going to go sit on top okay so we're going to put this right sides together and stitch down okay so no, this is a very simple little block very simple piece in but i just i was like i said inspired by those uh, fabrics and it's, it's kind of similar to the um, the lily block that we did. I think kind of similar to the tulip block that we did as well. I just played around a little bit with that. So we're coming back over here. There we go. Uh, you had a very restrained order. <laughs> I did see your order come in. And then we want to just press that one out like that. So you've created that little bit there. All right. Yeah. So we're going to just, just give that a quick press. Okay. He's making a right mess over there with those quavers, isn't he? <laughs> so that's that little block there done. Now what we want to do is we're going to make um, the two sets of half square triangles. So I've got my background five and a halfs. You could get away with five inches because they need to be squared up to four and a half. But you know I like to give wiggle room. And I'm going to do one in the purple and one in the green. Okay, so we're going to do the getting excited about Sonbi final tonight oh it is as well isn't it i'd for oh thank you for reminding me i'd forgot it was wednesday my brain is all over the place at the moment i don't know what day of the week it is i don't know why but i've been really i think it's because sarah wasn't in on monday it's just and i saw her like for the first day of the week i keep thinking it's tuesday today but it's not it's wednesday isn't it so we're going to just draw half square triangles they've gone right sides together as ever you all know how to do these now Line down the back and we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch. Do the same on this one. Line that one up. If you're, if you're careful with your fabric and careful with your stitching, you can get these at five inches. But I've written up it's five and a half to give you that wiggle room. Because, you know, some people are still new to blocks and stuff. Uh, did your subscri blah, subscription box get sorted? Yes, it did, darling. No problem. All sorted. Um, it's uh, It will be in the post to you at the end of the week. Okay, with all the others. So if you've done subscription boxes, if you wanted July's, you had to order by the 20th, um, and that will be going out on Thursday or Friday. Thursday, that should go out. It might even go out tomorrow. Um, but if you order now, you'll be getting it at the end of July, because that will be the next box. So, but no, uh, Leslie, yours is all sorted, darling. So we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch either side. Okay. Uh, hi, Karen. Um, so you're going to watch tonight. All right, lovely. We're going to watch tonight. So I will, uh, you can catch up then with me. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, I can't find the machine pedal. There we go. So keeping the blade on that drawn line as ever. Down we go. There we go, like that. I'm going to flip that round. No problem, Leslie, no problem at all. Let's uh, get it all sorted for you. Um, I, yesterday we had a big, because we had so many new fabrics with all that dragonfly and all come in and the other ones that I showed you were called uh, Free Motion Fantasy, those beautiful like bold prints, um, they're on the website now as well. 
um, I did add in quite a lot of fabrics into the clearance section. Stuff that's been hanging around for a couple of months I've got, it's gone into the um, clearance section. Um, so there's quite a lot new in there. Sarah put a lot of stuff into job lots as well. So if you're looking for sort of slightly bigger pieces, um, check out the job lots section. So there we go, down that side. Uh, I was busy on Daphne yesterday. I managed to get a quilt and a half done yesterday. I got someone's whole quilt and I've got a, another half of somebody else's, which I'm going to hopefully finish today. So stitch down like that, come back over here. And then we're going to chop these up and square them up. Okay, so just chop up that line. I mean, you, I'm sure you guys can all do half square triangles in your sleep now. <laughs> So is anybody, who's, what's your predictions for So and B? Who do you want to win? Who do you think is going to win? I'm, I don't know who I, I, I would, has everybody watched last week's now? Can we talk about last week's now? Is that all right? Should we talk about last week's? I was a bit annoyed with them, to be honest. Really was a bit annoyed with them. I was like, don't do that. Make a decision. You know, have a pair of balls. Make a decision, Patrick. Come on. Um, I was a bit annoyed that they let them all go through um i actually i i know i'll be in the in the minority here but i actually didn't think that Bryony was the one to go i thought that man Yee's should have gone i hated that crane dress absolutely hated it i thought it was terrible um not brogan you don't like brogan oh see i like brogan i don't know why but i actually think um Oh, what's the girl who did the Mount Fuji dress? She's not great in technical, not to, it's not great in the transformation challenges, but her, that Mount Fuji dress I thought was beautiful. I think her, that has been, um, is lovely, was lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I know I'm going to be in the minority, but I don't actually think that Brogan should have been the one to go. I thought, I thought it should have been Man Yi last week. I ha genuinely hated that, um, that crane dress. I thought it was awful, awful, awful. Um, and yet I quite liked what Brogan did. Yeah, I really like Brogan too. I think she's a bit twee, some of her stuff. Um, but I think she's a very good sewer. Um, and I liked her, like her skill, although she doesn't necessarily, it wasn't an origami dress, but it was still a damn sight better than that crane thing. Um, what's the other girl called? I've got her name. De oh, not Deborah. The young girl with dark hair who got our garment of the week, which was amazing. That that pleating and how she drafted it all herself was unbelievable. I think that's probably who I want to win more than Deborah because Deborah's a bit rubbish at some of the other challenges. Her made to measures are always stunning. But, um, oh, Annie, Annie? It's Annie, isn't it, I think? Yeah, so anyway, I'm just squaring these up to four and a half. Um, like that, like that, okay. So everything's on four and a half because we're doing a 12 and a half inch block. So like that, just making sure we've got diagonal line, four and a half, four and a half, um, like that. Um, yeah, Deborah or Annie. I think I want Annie to win. I think she would be my, my overall winner. Um, and if not, I think I'd like Deborah to win just because I love her made to measure. So I think she always does a fantastic job with them. So, but, uh, Anna, Anna, Annie. Yes, that's it. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't origami. Dress was lovely. Don't mind who wins. Yeah, no, you're right. Brogan's wasn't origami. It was still better sewn, though, than Manny's. And I just didn't like it. It just looked like a sack where somebody had done some dodgy bit of applique on the front. Just, and I, I've loved some of the stuff she's done. Really love some of the stuff she's done. I thought she's been a, you know, a worthy contestant, and some of the things she's come up with have been like, oh, her was it her denim that I really liked, not her denim. Can't remember what it was now, but last week, no, that made to measure was terrible. Sorry, and this is coming from a non dressmaker. <laughs> I'd like to see me try and do it. <laughs> Lizzie, you like Brogan and Annie. I think I would like Annie to win. She's been like the horse that comes up at the rails at the end. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I I think I agree with that. I don't mind Annie. I think I'd like, that's who I'd like to win. I think that's probably who is going to win. I think she's the most consistent. Um, she, you know, she does, she's sort of a high end, high, top of the, not top of the table, but towards the top of the table, always on the pattern challenge, isn't she? And 
the transformation and her made to measures have been amazing. That red dress she did a couple of weeks ago. Wowzers. That was that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, so there's me yabbering on about a sewing bee. Uh, we can discuss it all with Sarah tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Sarah, next Thursday is the 7th. It's the 5th I'm going. It must be Tuesday I'm going then. Oh God, is it Tuesday? Oh, it's the 5th I'm going. I can't remember. I'll look it up when I... It might be Tuesday I'm going then. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's the 10th on the Sunday, because that's when we fly. Oh, I don't know. I'm, it's the 5th next week. I'll look at it when I get home, uh, when I get back to the shop. Um, Jonah. So, you want two in the petal colour, two in the leaves, like that. What's he doing? Crushing the food inside. Don't crush the food, mate. You want that little block that you made like that, and then you need three four and a halves in the background, and one four and a half in like that. And we're going to basically lay this out nice and easily, okay? So you really, really want to pay attention to the way the petals and the leaves are placed, okay? Because it will look completely different otherwise. So I want this one to sit like that, okay? And I want this one to sit like that. So I've got the purple enclosing that, okay? It's very easy when you're stitching to do this sort of thing, okay? And suddenly you've got a different type of flower happening okay so you want to make sure that you've got purple touching all purple okay like that <laughs> I turned it too many times in didn't I okay so there's my little bit there this one up here is a little bit of background like that and this one down here is a little bit of background and that corner there am I in the right place or do I need to come over sorry guys like I said like that and then again with the leaves just be careful about which way you're putting them, okay? So you want to create a line across like that. So it looks like that's sort of floating off these leaves, which are like in the water. Does that make sense, okay? Just be, that. that's one thing that people do get really turned around about with half square triangles is how you, when you put them together to create, because it's so easy to do, you know, to, I'm trying to do, make it, make it wrong. You go, you know, it'd be so easy to do something like that or have one, one, you know, have one going this way and one going that way. And then you put the blocks together and you, it doesn't look right. And it's it's quite hard to, to get it right sometimes. OK, so that goes together like that. We're going to stitch that one to that one to that one. Those three together then those three together. OK, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Patricia. That's lovely. You went to see the new Elvis film last night. It was fabulous. Oh, what was it? Who? I've not seen that. I've not even seen a trailer for that. Lovely. Um, it's uh, what? Who? Who's playing Elvis? Is it a, a documentary type film, or is it like a story of his life, like the um, Elton John one and the Bohemian Rhapsody one for Freddie Mercury? Who's playing Elvis? Would Would we know him, or is it an unknown? There we go. So down that way. So I'm just making sure I'm keeping them in the right order as I do it. So that was my middle one, this side, and then this one's going to go that side. What are you doing? Uh-oh, what's the matter with you, Mr. Blister? There you go, down that side. <coughs> Hi, Eileen, how are you, lovely? Um... Yeah, it's a little, I'm calling it a water lily bud block, just because yeah. it's, it was inspired by, oh, where's my machine suddenly got a big puckered in the stitching, that's annoying. Um, I was inspired by all those dragonfly dance fabrics um, yesterday, which had all those beautiful water lilies on. So I'm bringing this next one over, trying to keep it in the order to make sure that I don't turn around those half square triangles too much. Um, but I've done it as a pattern, like I said, digital download, Oh, right, the machine's, ah, the thread snapped, that's why it's suddenly puckered. Um, okay, let's... Why have you suddenly... <laughs> Are you not eating your lunch over there, Mr. Blister? Um, there should be your, your yoghurt in the um, fridge, love, you can have. Karen needs to butter both sides of bread. <laughs> She's like, buttered only one slice of bread. Cara, lovely, if you're listening, you need to butter both sides of the bread. The cheese, the cheese in his sandwich didn't stick. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, you're very welcome, Kay. That's absolutely fine, darling. Didn't really do much. Just uh, pointed you in the right direction. <laughs> or hopefully the right direction. Anyway, you can blame me if it's not. Random question. Uh, have you got any rainbow thread? Um, as in sewing thread? Yes, we have, lovely. We've got the Gutemann varied ones, which are rainbows. Um, and they actually stitch up beautifully um, if you do like decorative stitches. Um, yeah, if you're passing, Jill, pop in and uh, we'll have a little look. Um, Austin Butler is Elvis and Tom Hanks is Colonel Parker. It's about their lives together and acted very well. Oh, well, I love a Tom Hanks film, so I need, probably need to see that one, don't I? Oh, I just dropped a square on the floor. Right, so let's just do this very last row and we can put it all together. But like I said, this would I think this would be really pretty as a six inch um, block as well. And then you could make small ones and dot in with these bigger ones. It'd be really pretty. And I will go in, uh, I will have a play, keep playing around and design a, like a full, um, like a water lead that's open to go with this bird block, I think. That might be quite nice actually. I might do a might do some like lots of floral blocks or maybe a whole pond you know so we've got a block with a dragonfly on it we've got a block with some water lilies you could have a reed couldn't you so let's come back over here a second okay i'm just going to very quickly press these okay so i'm going to press all of these ones one way so this was my bottom row just press that one that way like that and then that's my middle row so I want that's going to sit there so I want those to be pressed the other way so that they nest nicely there we go like that make a pretty cushion as well wouldn't it you could do like some cushions and just put a little frame or something around it and that was that way so that one needs to go that way so that they again like I said they nest nicely there we go and then we can just pop these together so we're going to pop that one to that one Flip that over and then we put the bottom one on. We've got time. Yeah, I've got time to just quickly put these together. Hi, Michaela, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Here we go. So we're going to pop that one and make sure you're nesting that nicely so that your seams are going opposite directions. I will use a pin. And then that one in there like that. Okay, again, you pop a little pin in there just to hold those seams down. We're going to stitch across quarter of an inch and then I can put the bottom one on. So I'm going to go over to here, uh, just line that up nicely, make sure that's all underneath. Go a little bit slow because I've got a bit of bulk underneath because of the half square triangle. So start off a bit slower. There we go, all the way down. Get a little bit, just make sure that seam slides nicely. Oh, no, caught on that pin. Caught on that pin I am. Moved it all. Here we go. I won't flip cameras. I'll just very quickly press this and then come back again. Um, was that it? I went with my son to see Top Gun. It was amazing. Oh, I really want to see it, Kate. I really do. I love the first film. I really, it's, it's that proper 80s nostalgia now, isn't it, when you watch it? Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. We just haven't had two minutes to ourselves, to be honest, um, to actually do anything. It's Life's been a little bit crazy. That's one of the reasons we, we had that little, little cheeky weekend away. But uh, you can't really go and see Top Gun when you're when you were in Tenerife because it was uh, <laughs> would have been Spanish, wouldn't it? Well done, just... Is he developed that yogurt that quickly? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness me! Is that a gimmick? <laughs> there we go. Do you want to come and say hello to the ladies quickly? Granny's nearly finished. Do you want to come out say hello? He started doing this her, her hysterical, not horrendous, hysterical little laugh thing, which Kara's calling his, his devil laugh because he does it in the middle of the night and scares her on the baby monitor. Hey! Oh, you are covered in all sorts of nonsense. You just want to watch Granny so, don't you? You want to, no, let get him out, darling. Don't bring that all the way over. <laughs> Get my, you can sit on my lap, I've just about finished. So there we go, just very quickly iron this out and we're all done. So it is quite a quick block and it's a nice big block as well. There we go, so all done. Hi, 
You are covered in yoghurt, aren't you? All sorts of nonsense. <laughs> so there we go. It's a little water lily bird block. Um, it would look quite pretty in different colours as well, I think. You could do the all the different birds in different colours. It'd be a nice block. So, like I said, I popped it onto a digital download if anybody wants it. Let's come over here. Right, you come in here. <laughs> you come in here, monkey. Is You've got that funny... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Chatty bands on, aren't you? Um, hiya. <laughs> you've got so, you're getting so big now. You can't. It's all right. He likes to sit and watch me so, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Look at you. You've got all around your chops. You're gonna have to get a baby wipe on that. Get go and find Uncle Josh then. Go in. No, you're coming back up. Can't make it. No, I'm not going anywhere, darling. I'm talking at the moment. I'm talking. I'll be with you in a minute. So um, that's me for today. Little quick little block, but. It's lots of possibilities i think you could play around with it you could yeah you could definitely make it to make it different flowers you could put, put it onto point if you wanted to to have them going up that way yeah rather than sat on the side might be quite nice on point actually it'd be pretty cushioned wouldn't it you could then like practice your free motion into these sections and things if you quilted it up um, or put some applique on it you could we've got um miniature dragonfly applique templates i think it's in the dragonfly dance you could then applique onto this and stitch into it and stuff or embroidering into it and things so lots of lots of ideas lots of things you can play around with um uh, i will kate we will try and go i might try and go this weekend depending on how we get on with the organizing and stuff so uh i might try and go this weekend maybe go see top gun i know phil wants to see it too um right i'm gonna love you and leave you sarah will be back tomorrow with a marble maze and um then i'll be back next week but i've got to yeah i've got to work out what days i'm actually going to a chanda not sure now i'm all confused i had it in my head it was thursday but you're right i think the fifth is tuesday in which case i better get a wiggle on and get sorted haven't i <laughs> anyway um i'll see you really soon take care bye